Welcome back, Pokemon fans. My name is Angel of the Night 091, and uh, today we're continuing on with the Kanto Classic. Uh, this is battle number 10. I know in my last video I said I was going on to battle number 11. I was wrong and jumped ahead. Uh, so this is battle number 10. We're up against Gary. Looks like he's got Dragonite, Alakazam, Arcanine, Golem, Jolteon, and Starmie. I haven't actually battled Starmie yet, so I'm interested to see what Starmie can do. Um, now, you guys obviously know my team. There's no point in me going through it again. Let's go right into the battle. So good luck there, Gary. Have some fun. And uh, let's kind of analyze your team here for a minute. So his lead Pokemon most likely would be Golem. He doesn't really have a special wall. Uh, so he doesn't have anything to really take special attacks. He does, however, have that Starmie. Now, Starmie is going to be pretty speedy. Uh, so I'm predicting that it's going to be the problem poke for my Dragonite. But luckily, I do have my uh, Snorlax. So let's see what we can actually do in this match here. Now, I didn't start the battles when they um, began the tournament. So this is battle number 10. But this is battle number 10 for me on Saturday. So I'm not sure if it'll let me do the battles that it did prior. So we'll see what happens. All right, so Arcanine and Ninetales are going to be out here to play. Uh, I am, however, going to have to go for the Hypnosis. I want to see if, if we can get that thing hypnotized. Okay, there's the extreme speed. I hope I can live that. Nice. Alright, so we got the Arcanine uh, put to sleep. I'm going to save Ninetales. I'm going to go out to Kingler. All right, so Arcanine is fast asleep. Um, he had no special wall. So I'm just going to go for... It's probably going to go to Starmie. I'll just go for the Crab Hammer. All right, so Gary's going to withdraw the Arcanine. And Starmie. All right, so I went for the Crab Hammer anyway. Uh, more than likely, I should have gone for the Excisor. But, I mean, I did get a decent hit off onto that Starmie. Uh, I am going to have to go to the Snorlax, though. I could go to Jolteon. He's probably going to go for a Thunderbolt anyway. Oh, well. Let's go to Snorlax. Just to, just to play it safe. Just in case. I don't want to get Jolteon hurt. I do need Jolteon for the Dragonite. Yeah, there's the Psychic. Definitely made the best decision. Alright, let's go for the Body Slam. I could have gone for Crunch, but I wanted to go for Body Slam just in case. I wanted to maybe see if we could get like a Paralysis of some sort. Uh, looks like he's going to swap out and go into a different poke. He's going to go back out to Arcanine. But he did get the Intimidate. So... I have to watch out for the Arcanine. Gonna have to go back out to the Kingler. I'm afraid that Arcanine's gonna wake up. Alright, another Crab Hammer. Oh, it woke up! Will O Wisp. Not good. A burned Kingler is not a good Kingler. Although. I mean, if the Crab Hammer hit, it would have had um, the type advantage, but let's try it again here. Arcanine will likely attack, unless you'll swap out. I mean, a close combat could definitely do some serious damage here to this Kingler. wonder what he'll do. Uh, most Arcanine should usually have the Wild Charge anyway. So, I mean, it's possible I might get hit by a Wild Charge. Alright, so he's going to withdraw. 
Oh, out to Jolteon. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go to Snorlax. Alright, back probably out to the Arcanine. Oh, the Golem. Come on, get the paralysis. Nope. Okay, let's go to Kingler again. Oh. Stealth Rock's gonna be a big problem this match. This is the first Stealth Rocks I've seen in 10 matches though. Alright, there we go. We finished up with the Golem. Uh, I'm probably going to lose Kingler from the burn, though. Yeah. Alright, so we're both on one poke. So, I think most of our... I think... I think both of our defensive-type Pokemon are both down, so that's that's perfectly fine. That happens. Um, I'm going to go back into Ninetales, and I'm assuming he'll probably go back into the Arcanine. Just because that was his lead. It's usually the way the battles happen. Starmie, though. Oh. The rocks. Gonna go for the energy ball. Um, Starmie's gonna be faster. Just not good. Oh, the rocks will take out my multi scale for my Dragonite. Not good. Okay, let's go to Snorlax. All right, let's go for the body slam. It's gonna save that Starmie. I should have had something with rocks. Uh, hopefully, I can maybe paralysis this Arcanine. Nope. I don't have a safe switch in for that. Uh, I'll probably have to go for the body slam again. Dragonite's definitely going to come in here soon. Alakazam. Yeah, he's gonna finish off this... this Snorlax.
Okay, let's go for the Shadow Ball. Hopefully I can get a decent hit off here. Live, 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 live. Sweet. Okay. I really wish I had Dazzling Gleam right now. Alright, let's go for the Psychic. Oh, he just went for the Extreme Speed. Interesting. Oh, Jolteon. Okay, totally Jolteon time. Let's get that uh, Thunder Wave off. Nice! Alright, so we got the Paralysis, uh, Dragon Claw, okay. Oh, good, I lived. Okay. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Ah, oh, Extreme Speed. Fucking Extreme Speed. I hate that. So many Dragonites, guys. So many Dragonites. Um, this is the biggest issue here with Rocks and Dragonites Multiscale. Unless I can get a good hit off here, which I probably can't. I hope he gets paralyzed. If he gets paralyzed, I'm good. Ice Punch. Whoa. Oh, wow. I just lost my first match, guys. Wow. That was good. That was good. This guy has a really good team. Alright, GG there, Gary. Alright, I'm saving that video. That was awesome. I've never expected to see an Ice Punch on a Dragonite. <laughs> Alright, if you guys enjoyed the video there today, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Post your comments in the comment section below. And uh, hit the sub button, and I'll catch you guys next time.